How is it already July? Although, what do I know? The cover says, great fun. So you really can't go wrong with that, right? Because we make the rules. I keep picking it though. Welcome, welcome. I'm here to talk about the books that I'm gonna read in July. How is it already July? Uh, my TBR is not too, too crazy in terms of the books that are, uh, I've explained this before, I'll explain it again this year. I'm, the books that are on my TBR are only books that I'm like regarding as in some way an obligation. And then I'm free to read other things for other projects or as suits my fancy for the rest of the month. But I'm not gonna put anything else on my TBR other than what I have like agreed to read for like a buddy read or a read along or a live show or something like that. So just a refresher. These are the books on my for sure for sure there's some reason or other that I must read this and then I will also almost guaranteed read a few other things. Now before I forget one of the books on my TBR I do not have a physical copy of and I will 100% forget about it. Blades and Bodice Rippers is back with Morning Glory Milking Farm. Dang it I was gonna look up who that who wrote that before I started filming and then I didn't. C.M. Nascosta. Actually, I may not have ever known who the author was. That rings zero bells. Anyway, um, it's Mara's pick, so the live show for it will be on Mara's channel where we will gather and discuss. And um, Mara told me that she low-key picked it, hoping to see a vlog from me reading it. So I will probably do that at some point in July uh, before we have the live show. So stay tuned for that lovely experience. <laughs> anyway, everything else that's on my TBR, I have a physical copy of, so let's get to it. First up is the book that my patrons have chosen for me to vlog and review for them. In fairness, they, they when they voted, there was a, a tie between two books, and I chose the one that I already have a physical copy of, is how I made that decision. So what I'll be reading is The Long Way to a Small Angry Planet by Becky Chambers. They keep voting on this, and then also backtracking and being like, just kidding, we don't want you to read that because you're gonna hate it, and we're gonna be sad, but it won! So this time it's really it's really happening. The other book that won that I'm not reading is The Road by Cormac McCarthy. And you know I did on a physical copy of that. I might have still picked this because The Road is a book that I want to have read, but the prospect of reading it sounds really, really harrowing and depressing. And also doesn't seem like a summer book. Although what do I know? So anyway, that's neither here nor there because I will not be reading The Road. I will be reading Small Way to a Small Angry Planet. I originally got this like shortly after it came out, I think, because it was comped to uh, Firefly, which I love very much. And then later people were like, well, but if you're expecting Firefly, like, like don't expect it to be Firefly. So I'm like, okay, okay, whatever. So I'm, I'm hoping I like it. The cover says great fun. So you really can't go wrong with that, right? Um, so we'll, we'll see how I do. Next up is a book that I originally said um, that I didn't think I'd be able to read until August. But uh, if you'll recall, Mara and I were, were and are reading The Realm of the Elderlings together and agreed to a every other month schedule. But both of us separately and independently finished Golden Fool and we're like, dang, I really wanna read Fool's Fate immediately. Cause I said that in my video talking about it. I was like, I can't read it immediately cause we agreed, but I would read it immediately if I could. And then Mara didn't watch my video because she had like just finished like the, the book she finished after me um, and didn't want to get spoiled for anything. So the moment that she finished it, she messaged me and she was like, I haven't watched your video yet. This was so good. I really want to read Fool's Fate right away. And I was like, well, so do I. <laughs> so we're reading Fool's Fate <laughs> in July because we make the rules. And it was us that said we had to wait a month. So it can be us that say, we don't have to wait a month. So I'm quite excited to read this, quite nervous to read this because it's Hob. So I'm kind of nervous every time I pick up a Hob book. I'm just, I go in with my heart like already uh, bracing itself for impact. Plus the conclusions of trilogies are extra likely to need to be bracing for impact. Uh, I've heard nothing but amazing things as usual and Mara and I are super stoked to be reading this. And I hope to be able to do a chat with Mara when we finish on the channel. So stay tuned for that. Next up are the Abercrombie books that are up next. We are hosting, me and Bethany are hosting on the Chapter 3 podcast, first law read along this year. And we uh, are decided, we decided to do an episode combining, instead of reading them separately and doing separate episodes, doing Red Country and Sharp Ends together. So we're reading them both in July and doing the podcast episode covering both of them. This is the third and final standalone before you get to the Age of Madness trilogy. And then this is a collection of short stories that kind of run in terms of timeline they're kind of like all over the place in terms of from yeah from before the original trilogy middle of the original trilogy middle of the standalones they're all over the place 
and it's, it's quite short. So we're doing both at the same time. These are obviously rereads for me. These are first times for Bethany. Excited to see what she thinks of these. Red Country is my least favorite standalone. It's still really great though, because it's first law, and I really love sharp ends. So I'm looking forward to this as I always am, and it's gonna be a great chat, so yeah. Next up is another book that I'm reading with Bethany for another read-along that I'm posting with Bethany, and that is for the Sword of Truth read-along, and we are at The Pillars of Creation by Terry Goodkind. This is the seventh book in the Sword of Truth series, and the live show for this will be on Bethany's channel uh, this month. I remember this one pretty decently well. I think Bethany does not remember this one very well. So I'll be interested to see what she thinks of it. And I'll be interested to see if this does, like, I think I remember this, but I could be wrong. So we'll see if it is the way I remember it. I remember it was pretty good. It wasn't like my favorite or anything, but I remember enjoying it. So yeah, that's that. Next up is a book that I'm reading with my patrons. Um, we are doing a read along on my Patreon uh, for the Dandelion Dynasty. And we are at The Veiled Throne by Ken Liu. This is the third book in the Dandelion Dynasty. Uh, next month we'll be reading Speaking Bones and that'll be that. They just keep getting longer. So, so yeah. <laughs> I, I, when I turned it over, my eye immediately was drawn to the, because there's a lot of blurb reviews, but the, my eye was drawn to the blurb that says, among all these heroic lit bricks. <laughs> Accurate. And I love that phrase and I want to use it now, lit bricks. But yeah, uh, so far I am very impressed with Ken Leo. So I am... Um, Excited to see where this goes. Next up is my Book of the Month Club book because I make myself always read my Book of the Month Club books in the following month. And the book that I picked was The Stardust Thief by Chelsea Abdullah. I've seen this around. I think it's a pretty hyped new release. I do very poorly with <laughs> Book of the Month Club fantasies whenever they have speculative or fantasy fiction. I keep picking it though. I, I know better because my favorite books that I've read from Book of the Month have almost without fail been like lit fic or thrillers or things that are like outside of my comfort zone. But they put a fantasy pick there every month and I'm like, well, I'm picking that because I can't help it. So I hope this breaks the cycle. I hope I like this, but odds are not great. <laughs> and last but certainly not least is a book that I know I love. This will be my third time reading it. Uh, and that is Raven Cry by Ed McDonald. I'm reading this because um, Alan is finally continuing with the Raven's Mark trilogy. I made him read Blackwing for our TBR swap. He just reread Blackwing so that he could go on and read Raven Cry and Crowfall. And I've read Blackwing like three times as well. This will be my third time reading Raven Cry. So I was like, yeah, I mean, I don't, I don't need to read Ra Blackwing again, but I'll definitely dive in with you for Raven Cry and Crowfall. And Crowfall, I've only read once. Uh, and I told Alan, I liked it. I think I like it, but I'm not entirely sure I know what happened in Crowfall. So I'm excited to read it with Alan so that hopefully by rereading it and by having somebody to talk to about it, I might actually finally understand it. But I love Raven Cry. It's probably my favorite in the trilogy. And maybe once I understand Crowfall, that'll be my favorite. But right now, as it stands, Raven Cry is my favorite. So I'm super excited to read this and I'm super excited to read it with Alan. And those are all the books that I'm definitely reading in July. Let me know in the comments down below your thoughts and feelings, what you'll be reading, what you've read of what I've read, Whenever you want to let me know, I post videos on Saturdays. Other random times will definitely Saturday, so like and subscribe. Join my Patreon if you feel so inclined, and I'll see you when I see you. Bye.